Now I want to discuss a few options of the flare command. You know that if I just type flare in the command line, a new flare project will open, called Untitled. But I can also use some options with the flare command. For example, if I type flare minus one, the first flare project in the current directory will open. In my case, this is tutorial.flare. Another possibility is to open the most recent flare project that I used by typing flare minus r. Also, I can have a look at the 10 latest files that I used by typing in flare minus l. And then I can just select one by putting the number corresponding to the flare project. For example, if I want to open this one, I just type 7. And it opens. You see this information box that pops up at the beginning? If you want to suppress that one, you just type flare minus s. And it doesn't pop up. If you know which file you want to use from this list that we just had a look before, I can also type flare minus capital R and the number that I want to open. This is just a short list of what you can do, but if you want to see the extensive command, just type flare minus i and you see all the options that you have with the flare command.